Amoeba are hunters. They destroy paramecia whenever they get the chance. Every part of the amoeba's membrane is lethal to the quick-moving paramecia. Amoeba's method of execution is surprisingly slow and methodical. Sometimes it stalks its prey. Sometimes it patiently waits for prey to approach. When the time is right, pseudopods extend and engulf the unsuspecting paramecium. Every embrace ends with the formation of a food vacuole. In this little chamber of horrors, the paramecium first tumbles around as if puzzled by its new circumstances. Perhaps it is similar to the many tight spots the paramecia explore during a typical day of feeding. But amoeba's membrane-bound enclosure is no place for a paramecium. A well-formed food vacuole might as well be a tomb. Amoeba greets a newly captured paramecium with a barrage of molecular scissors. Slowly, bit by bit, the paramecium is digested by teams of tiny proteins. For the amoeba, attention can now shift to other potential victims. It hunts and digests without a second thought. Of course, it never had a first thought because this single-celled killer doesn't have a brain. For the paramecium, the overriding goal is to escape and do so quickly. Yet as protein damage accumulates, the life of the paramecium drains away. Contractile vacuoles stop pumping, cilia wave more slowly, protein construction grinds to a halt. With a final shudder, the paramecium expires. One more little life extinguished from the universe by a hungry amoeba. The paramecium is now a lifeless bundle of parts for amoeba. As nutrients are transported into the cytoplasm, the paramecium corpse shrinks to nothing, and the amoeba grows. Paramecium parts now become building materials for amoeba construction projects. Like all life forms, an amoeba utilizes information stored in DNA. It makes messenger RNA recipes for microtubules and chopper proteins. It assembles new membrane receptor proteins using amino acids from its microscopic prey. It might even reproduce by mitosis. An amoeba is powered by the combustion of sugar. Floating in its cytoplasm are hundreds of miniature power plants. Called mitochondria, they generate reliable energy to animate amoeba. Like most life forms, an amoeba exchanges oxygen for carbon dioxide. Drifting in from its watery environment, oxygen enters mitochondria and participates in the destruction of glucose. Carbon dioxide waste leaves amoeba through its membrane. An amoeba's life is the result of a complex molecular dance. Lifeless molecules collide, and often enough, the collisions change one or both of the molecules. We call it chemistry. It is the basis of life. Unfortunately for paramecia, the molecular dance that is an amoeba's life requires a steady supply of food in the form of paramecia. Paramecia death is the price paid for an amoeba's life.